So what do you think would happen for agencies if there was a greater emphasis on disclosing those long-term growth paths during the initial hiring and interview process? I think people would self-select and they may not be comfortable with that. Um, Norm, they don't always in the hiring process manage it like a sales process where an early no is good news. Like an early no means you're not wasting time on an initiative that isn't going to ultimately land or last, right? So if you're clear with people and you're sharing, uh, you know, information about the organization and a level of clarity that they're not comfortable with, like starting with the end in mind type of conversation, like we, we mentioned, that business may not be comfortable sharing that information, which is unfortunate because they just need a warm body in a role. And oftentimes, and this happens more, certainly historically with businesses that only hire locally, like I mentioned, butts and seats a minute ago, like if the talent pool is limited by geography, then they got used to hiring the best of what they had from an application standpoint, not necessarily the best person possible for the role, just the best of what they were looking at. And oftentimes that was good enough. The problem is, is if you're hiring for skills, those relationships start to break down over time instead of doing the longer term play, which is hiring for attitude and just spirit. Like if you hire someone, you could train anyone's skills. For the most part, skills are almost all trainable, but there are things in human nature that are not trainable. And if something can be an asset inside of a role that you're trying to fill, then leverage that and teach them the rest. 